Pursuant to the bylaws, the City of Virginia Beach Development Authority, the authority, both of them, dated December 18th, I hereby call a special meeting of the authority for Thursday, July 16th at 3 p.m. in the authority's board room at 4525 Main Street, Suite 700. The attached agenda sets forth the business of the authority to be considered at the special meeting. To adhere to the applicable safety regulations during the meeting, only commissioners and staff will be in physical attendance. This special meeting will be broadcast on, it, on cable TV and www.vbgov.com. Citizens are encouraged to submit their comments to the authority prior to the meeting by email at bkelly at bgov.com. In addition to online registration, any member of the public who wishes to make comments from the special meeting must also make, register with Vicki Kelly for conducting her by, by Sincerely, Dorothy Wood. Okay, we had we called it to order. The floor is open to speak with a three minute limit on the agenda. Are there speakers? There were no speakers. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, uh, this request for approval of a resolution authorizing the dedication of approximately 19 acres in the Innovation Park for the Acoustical Sheet Metal Company, LLC. Ms. Hayes. Okay, thank you everyone for coming in today for this. Um, Just for you. <laughs> special meeting. Um, as you can see, there's a press release on the table. Um, this is about Acoustical Sheet Metal, which the governor announced yesterday is expanding in Virginia Beach. We have all been discussing it under the codename um, Project Piano, but now we can actually call it by name, Physical Sheet Metal. Um, this was a team effort between the state, the alliance, and our office. So if there's questions about the um, project also, Eson, Taylor, Cole, we all worked on this together. I just happen to be up here presenting on it. So, <laughs> so um, about our first the 18 million. Okay. First, the disclosures. Oh, you can just to read them. All right, about the company. Um, the company, they manufacture sound reducing and weather protective enclosures for on site power equipment. Um, this is used for large data centers, hospitals, uh, distribution centers. Um, they're currently located at 2600 production facility, but that facility has reached full capacity and they needed a second location. And Virginia Beach was competing against them expanding into North Carolina and South Carolina. They currently employ 100, more than 145 um, full-time employees. Uh, their total investment for this new project is going to be $15.8 million. They're going to create 200 new jobs in Virginia Beach with an average salary of $46,874. Um, over the property um, that we're going to be talking about today is not on tax roll right now, uh, but over the next 20 years, this project's going to create $7.5 million in tax revenue. Yay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so our request today is, as you know, the Governor's Opportunity Fund. They have um, announced a, to support this project, they are going to grant $750,000, which uh, requires a match. So we would like to match this Commonwealth Opportunity Fund by uh, with 19 acres in the Innovation Park. Do I hear a motion or is it time for a motion? <laughs> Just for the record, Laura, what's the value of the land? So the value is 90,000 uh, acres per, uh, 90, per an acre. Uh, we had, I will say, uh, we originally uh, presented 15 acres, but because the trucks need um, better space to enter and exit, the property or traffic engineers uh, requested that we a and if, if I might add yeah. some context on that as well, there's two things, a couple of things about this parcel that, that uh, 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 affect the value. Uh, first and foremost, there's a large Dominion power transmission easement that runs right down the property line. It's quite wide and, it, uh, and, and nothing can be built there. So obviously, mm -hmm. where, where it's real estate, there, there's certainly some, uh, uh, some effect on the value of the property. Also, when we looked at, at a smaller parcel, um, it would have left an undevelopable remnant within 
uh, within this portion of the park. And so, again, it just didn't make sense to hold on to what effectively becomes two acres if we had an opportunity to get it on the tax roll as part of the larger, as part of the larger project. Um, other thing, this is land that's been held by the city for more than 25 years, approximately 30 years. It was purchased then, it was purchased at that point for $1,250 per acre. A Commonwealth Opportunity Fund grant has to be matched dollar for dollar. And so the, uh, it's important to note that we would have had to, uh, in addition to this $750, there's potentially another $150,000 that's been approved as part of this package that the company can, can, uh, uh, can go after at a future point if they choose. So we, uh, the match for this at dollar for dollar would have required us to come up with $900,000 in cash. We have that. We just received a new allocation of EDIP uh, monies at $2.2 million out of cigarette taxes we do every July 1. Uh, the, we told the company and would have happily provided that incentive on any parcel in the community. However, um, as the company had chosen this parcel, it, we felt it just made sense to hold on to that cash for, for future opportunities, particularly when, when our cost basis in this real estate was so low. So we do support this recommendation and are proud to bring it to you. And I do want to say we're so thankful that, uh, to show once again that Virginia Beach is a great home for manufacturing both in the Commonwealth and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would also point out that this matter was briefed to our city council because they gave us the land and they were I don't want to speak for Mrs. Wilson, but they, they were supportive of, of this approach to retain cash. And it is a somewhat novel approach Correct. for us. Yeah. That's right. And I no think it, it's also important to note that they will be subject to the design guidelines and restrictions yes. and covenants that apply throughout that innovation park. Because we don't have the machinery and tools tax here, so the incentive also to attract this kind of business. <clears throat> That, that is exactly right, council member. This is, once again, it's, it's funny. We just saw uh, in, in, in uh, our professional association in the, in the uh, International Economic Development uh, Council's uh, spring publication, uh, they, there's a section on the freest municipal economies in America. And one of the things that we just learned this week is that we are proud to say Virginia Beach has the seventh freest economy in the United States of America, which, again, we know that the Commonwealth is the best place in America to do business. <clears throat> I would tell you our six peers that are ahead of us on that list are all much larger than we are, and so I would tell you there is no place in America that has a freer economy at the value that we can offer. So again, we've heard before it's the greatest place in, the, in America to do business. We, uh, IEDC has just shown us that it is. That's great. Yes, ma'am. Do I hear a motion, please? I moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Dr. Pollard or? That's it. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for coming. See you Tuesday. Thank you, everyone. I know it's a long week.